Hello everybody, welcome, Danny Shea here, <clears throat> here, my throat's acting up, anyway, um, Wednesday, going to do a short reading, I'm going to be on Ordinary Made Unordinary, or is it Unordinary Made Ordinary, on Daniel's channel today at 3.30, I don't know if it's going to be live or not, I don't know, but either way, I will add that in um, below the video if you want to check it out. She's always got some great stuff. That woman has the best visions. Incredible. Incredible. Anyway, she was the one that drew this. She's a tattoo artist. She drew this, and there was a whole story... Um, with Dr. Gail Shasta uh, a year before and um, where I was talking to Gail. She wanted to meet an ET. And I go, there it's one. Long, long story. I won't go into it. And then a year later, Danielle draws that picture when we were going to Shasta last year. Um, said, I met this guy in my mind's eye who is a gatekeeper, and I showed it to Gail. I go, remember that guy that I was telling you about that was an ET that you wanted to meet, blah, 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 blah? She goes, oh, yeah. I go, is that him? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Did that make any sense? It's crazy. Anyway, let's move on. Um, I do not have anything written down, but what I do want to talk about, I was going to pull Mr. Pumpkinhead out of the box, but he's sleeping, so I'm just going to leave him there for a little bit. For my new subscribers, um, Mr. Pumpkinhead is my name for that guy. And I just got tired of listening to all the news, so I shoved him in a box and sent him off to Fulton County. Anyway, um, she sent him back, so I got him in a box underneath the desk. And... Um, so he could go by the name of David Dennison. So I'll pull, I'll ask David Dennison to come out one time, but not right now. So, but I will read a little bit on him towards the end. I want to read on um, the, the Mid East in Netanyahu. I haven't checked in with him for a while. And so I want to look at that. Big changes coming. Huge changes. I was talking to Libby, um, and she's like, "On whoa," and I'm like, "Yeah, whoa is right." So when we're in this, these huge changes and huge shifts, um, we tend to lose our focus. We tend to feel a little lost in. Um, either our, who we are, our abilities, what we are intended to do in this time stream, in this awareness. And so for me, it's super important just to stay grounded, to stay aware of what we can do. And what we can do in these moments of change is let's make it really simple. We can do two things. We can be happy or we can be sad. Let's leave it at that. So I'm going to choose happy, damn it. Going to be happy. All right. I am going to pull some crystals for us all before we get going. Um, when... Pick a number between one and three. Although I don't really know if you have to, because I've already pulled the crystals. I'm not a big crystal guy, but ooh, ooh, looky, looky what I got. Ooh, this is sea foam and Dara. Wow, powerful. This is my little green Andara. Some people say it's just glass. It's not. It's not. 
So, the guy who doesn't know much about crystals, I have all these crystals and rocks on my table. And I go, you know what? Shifty, shifty, move things around. It's time to clean some things up. Um, because I don't have any room for cards. All right, let's take a look. So, um, you can pick one to three. Who picked one? Who picked diamond? Yeah, 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 diamond. So, with this card, you can be happy or you can be sad. Happy, shine your light. Shine the lightness, the brightness. Um... As I think of this, there is a lot of positive and negatives with diamonds, with the way we get diamonds, with what they can do, positive, negative. Uh, there's a time to think of the negative and there's a time to think of the positive. Now is the time to think of the positive. Being aware that there's some work to be done on the other side. All right, second card. Ooh, Danberite. Danberite. Hmm. So this says it's an effervescent energy that takes the edge off with serious good feel vibes. So with this, we are getting both of these cards, it's all about good vibes so far. Diamonds, this Danberite. Number three, ooh, Libyan gold tech, tech tight. Wow. And this card says it's a 28 million year old Saharan desert glass. And it's only found in the Saharan Desert. Wow. <laughs> who needs it? People who want to hit the street with a little extra swagger. We do. We do need that. So as we're feeling this huge shift and going... Do I have a sense of who I am anymore? Hit that street with a swagger, you know? Fake it till you make it. How many times have I done that? Faking it till I make it. Most of my life. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just that many times we're unaware of the power that we have and so just step into it and you go, ah, this is, the, you have that huge, what is it, the imposter syndrome? Yeah, you get that. Well, you just walk through it. Just keep going through it. All right. Um, as we are in this stage, let's look at three more cards. Uh, the angels and the ancestors. Sage, be devoted and committed. Yes. Magic guardian unlock the magic within fake it till you make it and then grow within your current situation so as we step into this newness we we can either backtrack and go you know what i'm done I, i'm just going to go back to the way it is way it was which you really can't but you can say, I'm going to do that, I'm not going to grow, I'm not going to step up. And this card is saying, eh, you probably shouldn't. You should probably unlock the magic. And growing within your current situation means you don't take a huge leap into another stratosphere. Your situation is where you're growing from, to. Wise words from the Angels and Ancestors deck. 
Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's take a look at, um, I'm going to use my true black deck and I am going to look at uh, Netanyahu in Israel. Is Israel going to start a bigger war? Is Israel going to start a bigger war? Is Israel going to start a bigger war? Six cards. Whoa. So we get the King of Cups. It's a Joe Biden card. Is Israel going to start a bigger war? We get the Page of Wands. To me, this Page of Wands, it's a young energy. I love the artwork on this. Isn't that cool? This is a young energy that is, it's a little passionate with this fire. And normally this passion, this information that this page stirs up creates this portal that the page can drop into. But in this spread with this thought, it feels like Israel is stirring something up and is going to drop down, not a portal, but a rabbit hole that they may not like. They may go, ooh, wrong, wrong rabbit hole. I thought we were going to, into a portal of awareness, yet we went into the depths of, uh -uh. and then we have the Nine of Cups, which is at the base of this, which is the Wish card. In the past, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the wealth, the comfort, the security, things getting along. Uh, two sides getting along. At the top of the reading is judgment. And off to the potential near future is riding in as a winner. So it's kind of interesting that I pull the King of Cups in the beginning with Joe Biden, with the Joe Biden card, the calming energy. Um, there's going to be there's going to be some kind of judgment that Israel is looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The internal position is the Ten of Swords. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not the Ten of Swords. I don't know how to count. How many swords are there? It's not ten, Danny. It's six. It's moving on to calmer waters. Thank you. External position. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Sorry, a lot of sixes. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Writing in as a winner. Going back to a simpler time. Hopes and Fears. The Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving night that it stays slow, that they can figure this out and not just react quicker. The top of the reading is the Emperor. And in this Emperor card of control, of wisdom, and it's clarified by the Page of Cups, hearing something from an unexpected source, ah, and then the burden of it, the Ten of Wands. There's some underlying things that are going on. So what I see with this is Israel going to open up um, and create more, another war, a wider conflict. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing calmer heads prevailing. Um, I'm seeing the the a group of nations coming together and saying, Israel, stop. Stop this. That's what I'm feeling. And there's some kind of judgment going on. I think the judgment is with the humanitarian crisis that's being caused in, in Palestine, in the Gaza Strip. 
not in Palestine, in the, for the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. It's horrific. Palestine, the Palestinian people are not Hamas. But I, I got to tell you, you piss off enough of them, you're going to create more of that energy. So hopefully that King of Cups energy that is in the very beginning, we want calm. We want to go back to a simpler time. We want to move on to smoother waters. And I'm hoping that this emperor, this wise emperor with control, with restraint, with a document in his hand that can blend things together. It's going to be a challenge, obviously, because it's the Mideast. Until people can figure out that they can work together, um, it's centuries old, though, them fighting that way. So, let's take a look at Mr. Net Netanyahu. Um, a lot of people are not digging. <laughs> That's stupid. People aren't digging him. You know what I'm saying? They're just not digging that man anymore. That dude. <laughs> All right. Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Yahoo. I mean, if I was in Missouri, I'd be calling him a Yahoo. What the hell, Netanyahu, you is such a yahoo. All right, let's just take a look. How long are you going to be in there? What's the deal? How long are you going to be controlling this mess? How long are you going to be controlling the mess? It's got some battles ahead. This is the Five of Wands. A lot of people, well, you know, they're standing up, they're riding, they're getting in the way. Um, how long are you going to be there, Mr. Yet Netanyahu? That may be an indication that it is time to go. Um, this is the ending of one cycle, beginning of another. And this is, I don't know if you can see it, there it is. This is the Death Card. At the base of the reading, we have, please, the Star of Hope. That's what this energy is marinating in. It's not the let, it's not the death card, it's the star card. In the past, wow, wow. In the past, the magician. Hmm. He was something in the past, but wow, another major. At the top of the reading is the lover's card. When I pulled this, I thought of the U.S. And I'm going, the U.S. is playing along in this a little bit. You know, we have a love affair for Israel. We have a love affair for the democracy that Israel brought to the region. But we are, we're seeing now that democracy needs to be reconfigured because it's people are, are are saying democracy but it's really kind of abuse i think it is when we have when we say Capitalism is part of democracy. Capitalism isn't democracy at all. Capitalism is the abuse of resources of the little guy for the big person. At least that's where it has gone since Reagan. Maybe it was different before when I was ignorant of all this stuff. Anyway, in the near future. Well, you know, what the hell. Let's just keep those majors rolling. We have temperance. We're talking about Netanyahu here. So the only card 
that is not a major arcana is the verbal conflict back and forth, the fighting, the conversation, the death card on top of it. And then we have the star of hope, the magician, the lovers in temperance, Netanyahu. It feels like he is leaving, especially with that death card. They're going to have somebody new come in that is going to help out, especially with this lover's card. It's going to be more of, um, it's going to be more of, I look at this and I see that their wrists are tied together and so often that is represent for me i look and i go that's kind of like the addiction card the devil card where they're they're tied to the devil but it's really loose they can let themselves go at any time this one it feels they're really tied together it's going to be hard just to take those off so there is a connection between um, whatever this, these two factions are, whether it's the U.S. and Israel, whether it's um, Israel and the Arab nations, which seem to be kind of blending together now, it's, I mean, we're going into such a new energy. That's all I can say. The potential outcome is balance, is temperance. Netanyahu, whether he stays or not, he is going to be more balanced. The energy of that is of, and Netanyahu stands for the ruler of Israel at this moment in time. That's going to be balanced out, whatever it is. Whether he leaves, whether he stays, he's going to be different. That energy is going to be different. And I was talking about Netanyahu internally. Okay, good. We do not have a major arcana. We just have the Ten of Swords. Getting stuck. And then you couple that with the Death card. And then you couple it with the Three of Swords card. Urgh. This is... This is I wouldn't want this reading. I mean, I like all the majors, the change, and the star of hope, the temperance, the magician, all that. Those are all great cards, but not, not with the death, not with the ten of swords, not with the three of swords. Heart issues? Is he going to have a heart attack? And forgive me for not knowing his health thing, but I think he had some heart stuff going on. Here we have the Seven of Wands. There's a, in the hopes and fears, a defensive mechanism. And then, and then we have the Four of Cups. Hmm. In this deck, he's not really looking He's not like not paying attention to the offer being presented because all of the offers are there. All the cups are there right in front of him. It feels like that this is more of a retreat card, a meditation card. This is more a confusion card. Seven of Cups. And the final clarification the chariot, another major, he's moving on. We're going to have a shift in leadership in Israel, and it can't happen too soon. It, it, it needs to happen now. And I wish timing was better for me, um, but with the death card, with the Temperance card, with the Chariot card, with the 
Six of Swords card. Six of Swords moving on to Calmer Waters. Chariot moving. He is... He's gone. He's leaving. Um, what else? Um, what else did I want to read on to? Oh, let's read on Pumpkinhead sleeping. Pumpkinhead sleeping. What is going? He looked horrible. Um, I think Wednesdays are the day off. The judge is slapping him around. Um, not going to take anything. So let's just look at this. Is Pumpkinhead going to be arrested? Is he going to be... Um, is he going to behave himself? Or is Mershon, Judge Mershon, and I, I apologize for mispronouncing his name, is he going to be... Um, Slapped with huge fines, reprimanded, thrown in jail, arrested. One of those big things. And and I when I say that, I hear Trump is going to, yeah, I'm doing it for you. And then did you all hear his speech at, at um, was it Gettysburg or something? I can't remember the name. Horrific battlefield for the Civil War, and he's calling it beautiful. And then you see all the kids behind him. They're all yawning and rolling their eyes. Once again, you know, when I went back to um, the 16 and 20 election, we were all saying, he, he, look at those people behind him. They're all paid. They are so bored with this. And it, he's not making any sense. There's the one guy, he's going, yeah, yeah. And then he kind of stops and goes, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Trump. Trump land is um, Trump just looks sick. How's this trial working? Is Trump going to get arrested? Let's just do three cards. Is Trump going to be put in jail? Some kind of restriction. Hmm. Well, some kind of restriction. Five of Pentacles. He's going to be losing some money with this. Is Trump going to be restricted? Moving on to calmer waters. Hmm. And the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. Okay, so now this is leaving me more questions than answers. Yes, he is going to be fined a lot. Yes. What is this moving on? What is this Wish card? I got I to gotta go a little deeper. So, what is... This moving on card that looks like the Ten of Swords, but it's not. I have to think on that because this card throws me all the time. It's like, you know, that the intuitive hit that I get, it's that the that there was such hardship just being uh, just stabbed in the back. There's you can't go back. It's too painful to go back. You have to go forward. So is he going to be reeled in a little bit? Is he going to behave himself? No, that's not his nature. So what is the clarification on these Six of Swords moving on to Calmer Waters and the Wish card? I mean, maybe, maybe he's just going to sleep. The whole trial. And he doesn't have that gold there because he's got the Five of Pentacles. It's gone. Bye-bye. Oh, we should look at Truth Social stock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Truth Social. These people are putting like 20 grand into it. Maybe their life savings. And you know who's going to make out on this? 
pumpkin head. He, he didn't put any money in it. So when he says, let's add more shares to this. Oh, maybe I should look into that. Okay, let's just look at what's going on. Clarification of moving on to calmer waters. Okay. Well, whatever this moving on in the wish card is, we get justice. We get the page of swords, fast action, fast truth coming. And then we get the two of pentacles. This has world implications and it is, um, I'm sorry, two of wands, two of wands. This kind of looks like pentacles, but it's the two of wands. It has world implications. Um, people are watching us. And I think, I think those are bees. Okay, to clarify, those are bees. And when I think of bees, I think of um, Angel Abigail, patron saint of bees. I've been getting so many. She was one of my very first guides, Abigail. And more and more um, information is coming through from Abigail these days for me. Again, bees. And then one lone bee is going and sitting on a new planet. This is a difficult decision that needs to be made, but it feels like he's going to be isolated in some way. He's not well. It is going to cost him, and he will be isolated. The, the judge is going to put him in a timeout or something. That's what I think. All right. Um, I said I was going to read on something else, and I can't remember what I was going to read on. But enough is enough. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Peace and love.